do you feel, Dr. Mustafa Barghouti, as you come here to Washington, you've come here many times, that you've come into a new era, a new government? Do you think President Obama represents something different? And what are your thoughts on George Mitchell as his Middle East envoy? Absolutely. It is early to say still, because, you know, many appointments have not been filled yet. But uh, so far, from what I have seen, from the people I have met with, you can feel the breeze of change in Washington. You can feel it's a totally different Washington from what we had, for instance, three months ago or two months ago. And I uh, would like to emphasize here that I believe that the last war on Gaza, uh, plus other things that the Israeli government did uh, jointly with the Bush administration, was nothing but an effort to create a preemptive strike against Barack Obama administration. Uh, that was clear in the Resolution 1850, which tried to restrict the peace process only to the failing Annapolis process. And that was clear in the war and intensification of tension in the region to prevent, in my opinion, peaceful dialogue with Syria and Iran that Barack Obama wants to have, and to uh, obstruct uh, a fast and uh, quick withdrawal from Iraq. Uh, but finally, that agreement that was concluded between Livni and Rice uh, in the very last hours before uh, Rice left her position was also a preemptive strike against this administration. But I tell you, I feel change. We uh, looked. Uh, Explain to, what to, that explain what that agreement was. That agreement was that the United States and NATO will be providing guarantees to Israel that, and provide protection uh, to the occupying force being Israel uh, and to prevent resistance of the Palestinian people who are under occupation. Uh, so this is the first time in human history where, from one side, the people under occupation in West Bank are supposed, through this huge security apparatus, which is consuming 34 percent of our budget, uh, depriving us from health care and education, uh, the Palestinian Authority is supposed to provide protection to its occupiers. And the world community has to provide protection to the occupying force of Gaza, in this case, the Israeli occupying force. And George that Mitchell? Is the about Mitchell, I think that is a positive. I, I think the appointment of, of Senator Mitchell was perceived in the Middle East as a very positive step. I consider it very positive. I know Mitchell. We've met before. I know that his stand on settlements was very clear. And now is the challenge. I think after coming to the area one or two, uh, two or three times more, it will be clear whether he, uh, that the only recommendation can, he, he should make immediately is to stop settlement activities. And if that does not happen, then, unfortunately, I think the whole, the whole area would go into a complete collapse of the peace process. I think I feel here in Washington some new trends. First of all, there is more sensitivity to the issue of settlements. Uh, I think there is more inclination to accept our view, uh, our point of view, that Palestinians are, uh, should be allowed to have a national unity government. And thirdly, that we should allow Palestinian democracy to be revived. You know that Israel has slaughtered the democratic transport of transformation in Palestine by arresting our members of parliament. And if Israel is entitled to democratic elections, then I think we as Palestinians are entitled to that. I believe this is just a beginning. I hope we will go in the right direction. And maybe these results of elections in Israel will show everybody that time has come for a real change in the American policy. Every value that President Obama spoke about, values of respect of human rights, of democracy, of respect of the Geneva Convention, avoiding torture, justice, equality, equal opportunity, every value of those are violated by Israel. We're going to have to leave it there. Dr. Mustafa Barghouti, independent Palestinian lawmaker and democracy activist, ran for president of the Palestinian Authority. Neve Gordon uh, teaches politics, head of the Department of Politics and Government at Ben-Gurion University in the Negev. He's author of Israel's Occupation. Our website's democracynow.org. Democracy Now! produced by Mike Berkshire from Doku Dusa, Armata Angela Cobb, Steve Martinez, Nicole Salazar, and Mimi Goodman. Thanks for joining us. This is